6,800? Holy crap. Damn, that second card added a lot of power to this thing. Welcome to Mike Golden Games and welcome back to PC Building Simulator. In this episode, we're building a League of Legends badass gaming PC. So basically, let's go over here and let me show you the email I received. Uh, right here and right here. So this is from Ali. He's a kid that, you know, sent me an email a few weeks ago and I built him, you know, a basic computer that can play League of Legends on minimum settings for a thousand bucks and he got signed and now he needs a new PC built. So let's just read this really quick. You won't believe it, mate, but I've got signed by an esports team. They saw me playing League and sent me a message. Me and my ma'am are both so happy we can't stop smiling. Couldn't have done it without your help, so of course I'm coming to you for my next rig. Playing with the big boys now, so I'm going to need something beefy. Don't worry about money, my team is going to pay. You just do what you do best, mate. Thanks, Ali Kitrick, how, uh, Oliver Rushmore. Okay, so I guess that's his real name. Uh, Azure Arrows Esports LLC. Uh, P.S. I am totally recommending you to everyone. Can't thank you enough. So he needs a really good PC, a 4200. It's not super powerful. We should be able to get that with probably a 980 graphics card. But uh, let's go over to the whiteboard here and let's pick that up and slap it down on the table there. Did I buy the case yet? I did not. So let's uh, go part shopping for this kid, shall we? First things first, got to start with the case. And now again, this guy is an MLG Pro. So we got to get him a badass looking case. Let's see. So we got the Cooler Master CMOS, which is actually the case that I used for my custom PC build in an uh, episode or two ago. I think, it, yeah, I think that was the last episode. Uh, yeah, something happened and uh, that's no longer here. So I'm going to have to build myself a new PC. You, you probably could tell right here that it, it's back to my old one. Uh, Let's just say I screwed up a few jobs, so I had to revert my save. Oops. I think we'll go with this Cooler Master case. Uh, it's $150 compared to $300, and it still has RGB lights. It's a mid-tower, not a full size. So uh, this should be good for what he needs. So that's $150 right there. And now, let's see. Next, we need the motherboard. We'll go with AMD, I think, this time. We'll go with this Gigabyte one that's an AMD chip because it actually does have RGB lighting on the motherboard. Again, you don't want to skip on the motherboard. It's a little expensive, but not too bad. Next, let's go with the power supply. This power supply is 140 bucks, but it's 750 watts and it's a Cooler Master. It'll match the case really nicely. All right, so that's a good one. Let's see, the cooling for the CPU, we're going to get an AMD. Okay, both these work, so that's good. Um, ooh, that's a 100 eSports 1 bread. Do we have an RGB? I'm going to go with this Arctic Freezer 33 eSports 1 because it actually has a 100 CFM, which is basically just how much air it can push through. Where this one's 80. Now we do have some RGB ones down here, like this Cooler Master, uh, but it's half about the airflow. So we want to get as much airflow as possible, because again, this guy is MLG. We got to get him a rig that's not going to overheat on him, because that's just going to slow you down, and that is not good. So yeah, it looks like that's the best one we're going to go with right now. It's only 33 bucks too, so that's a really good deal actually. Now for storage. I think we could go with this one terabyte. It's got 64 megabytes of cash. It's 60 bucks. Not too bad. Uh, he only needs one storage drive right now. Basically, it's just his gaming rig for the tournaments. So, uh, RAM, we definitely want to get really good RAM. 2600. I'm going to go with the Team Group Team T Force Delta 2. I don't even know if that's a real brand or not. I don't know if that's just one they made for the game or if it is a real brand. But this is RGB. And it's 3,000 megahertz. It's 100 bucks, but you know what? I'm gonna buy two of them. The CPU, I don't think I've purchased yet. This one should be good. It's an AMD Ryzen 5 6 core 1600X, 3,700 megahertz. That should be well more than what he needs. And for the graphics card, 
All right, so we're gonna go with this MSI Radeon R9 390X gaming eight gigabytes of VRAM. And it's, oh, you know what? It's not RGB, I thought it was. You know what? Screw that, let's go with the RGB. All right, so I'm gonna go with the MSI Radeon RX 570 gaming X. I don't know what that really means. Uh, eight gigs of VRAM and it's got RGB lighting cause that is gonna look badass in his case. It's 325 bucks. Let's add it to the cart. And that should be everything we need. Um, we could buy extra fans for his case, which actually maybe we should get RGB fans. Um, yeah, that's fine. We could always upgrade his case later if he wants that, but we are good. He needs a 3D square mark of 4,200. I think that should be well more than enough. As you can see now, these orders are coming out really good now. Payment of 555 bucks. Ali, of course, $2,100 to build this badass gaming rig. And then $540 for this one. That should be an easy one for the score mark. $1,758. Just slap a 980 graphics card in and you're good to go. You made like 200 bucks or so. All right, uh, so it looks like we're good for the day. So I will see you guys in the morning. So let's turn the lights off. And uh, we're going to wait for these parts to arrive tomorrow. Uh, did I purchase them? Hold on a second. I may have not purchased them, actually. I forgot to purchase our parts. Okay, so we got the case, the motherboard, the power supply, the cooling, the storage, the memory, the CPU, and the graphics card. That should be everything, I think. Uh, only 1388 bucks. Not bad. Let's uh, purchase that. And let's now turn off my PC. Again, I'm going to be building a new one because, like I said, the last one, I kind of screwed up, so I had to revert. So if you guys want me to build a new PC just for my workload and make it super awesome, let me know in the comments below. But let's get these lights off and I'll see you guys in the morning. Ooh, all right, let's build this guy's computer. Everything should be here, let's see. Boom, look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Oh, you know what? He might actually need 32 gigs of RAM. I don't remember because on the previous PC that I built for him, he brought it back to me wanting, I think he wanted 32 gigs of RAM added as like an extra step. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, we got my case here. There we go. All right, let's set that case there and let's open up the side panel there. And let's start with the thermal, or the motherboard, I mean. Ooh, look at that, RGB lighting in it, ooh. Man, I want to build myself a new PC, but mm, I don't want to spend $1,600 for the new parts. And that's only for the motherboard, the RAM, and the CPU. I've got a good graphics card, and, you know, I, I, I don't want to spend that much money. All right, now that we got this motherboard installed, let's get that CPU put in there. Oof, yeah. Okay, let's open that up there, CPU. Scroll down, and we got... It's a six core. Ooh, man, that should be powerful. Okay, lock that in there, and now let's get that thermal paste. Do not want to forget that thermal paste. Cooling, 100 CFM. That is a lot of airflow. Oof, and the cable. Blam, there we go. Okay, got to remove the PCU shroud, and let's install the power supply. 750 watts. Man, look at the detail though. Got the Cooler Master logo and it actually says, that, mm, seriously, this is such a freaking cool game. If you guys have been thinking about getting this game but you're not sure about it, go get it. It is really good. I think you'll actually really enjoy it. Uh, let's get these plugs put in first here. That way we don't have to do that later. All right, let's remove this. And this one, so we can get the graphics card put in here. Boom! Oh, look at that. Sick. All right. Uh, the cable for it. There's only one s cable slot. Okay. And let's get that plugged into the graphics card. Damn, look at that. Ooh, that looks great. And on to the RAM. We got two 8 gigabytes of RAM. So let's open that. And open that. Okay, and I'll slide that piece in there. Oof. And slide that in there. That looks good. And let's see, what else do we have? The storage drive. 
one terabyte of storage. Um, dang it, I gotta remove this. That's the one thing with these cases. It's like, come on now. Why do I have to remove that? All right, and slide that in there. Cable manage this right into there. And right into there. Look at that. Ooh, that is nice. Now, hopefully, there's enough room on the motherboard for all of these fans. Look at that. There's not enough room. Come on, now. Unless... Ah, do we connect the fans to one another? And then that... Pl okay. Got it. Got it. And plug that into there. And get that into there. And this fan into there. There we go. All the fans are hooked up now. That's good. I think these are RGB fans in the front. Uh, the rare fan is not RGB, which I could always upgrade later. All right, that should be everything. Now let's just get the rest of these pieces put back in. The PCU shroud. Okay, let's bolt that in. And there we go. And now let's get this other piece put in there. And now let's get that side panel put on. Screw that in. Everything is good. All right, let's... Uh, Got to install the uh, operating system. Can't forget that. So put my USB drive in there. And boot her up. Ooh, there we go. Everything is running, it looks like. Okay, we're installing the drivers. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're gonna need to install uh, the lighting. We're gonna have to get that installed. Now, do we need to do 3D mark test? Yes, we do. Okay. Alright, restart. Alright, and now, before we do that, let's uh, open up the lighting system. We'll select all that we can and switch it to rainbow just because, you know, rainbow is pretty cool. Slow, that is good. Oh man, look at that. That looks sick. That is a beautiful looking computer. All right, let's close that and let's start the 3D Mark test. 18, 19 FPS, not bad. Got this other computer set up while I was waiting for this to, uh, what? Uh, what? Only 3,965? That's not good. The graphics card... I need to get another graphics card, I think. Shoot. Okay. Uh, this thing can run SLI, so I'm going to have to go grab another card. Slap in two cards. And let's pop this thing in here. This thing is going to be running Crossfire. Hopefully it's going to work. I'm not 100% sure how it works, but we'll see. Um... Doesn't look like it's running Crossfire, though. There should be a little bridge between the two cards. And let's turn around and see what happens. Okay, looks like that card's running. Hopefully, it's going to work right. Uh, let's get this new one switched to Rainbow as well. And apply. Okay, that looks good. Now let's run the 3D Mark and see where we're at. 18 to 19 FPS. It looks like it's about the same. It's not running crossfires for some reason. It should be. Unless these 8 gigabyte cards can't run crossfire. Alright, let's go check out the 3D Mark score. Oh! 6800? Holy crap! Damn, that second card added a lot of power to this thing. Whew! Okay, that is well above what it needed to be, but I think we're still gonna make money on this, so... That's fine with me. Let's uh, slap this cover on. I think he's a little future-proofed right now. Damn, that looks badass. That is freaking beautiful looking. All right. All right, let's shut this thing down and get it off to Ali. Hopefully he'll win his next tournament. Well, let's pick this thing up and, you know, give us some more publicity and, you know, send more people our way. Could always, you know, use to build more gaming rigs. Oof. $2,100. Come here, baby. Turn that baby on, and let's see. All right, Ali. $2,100. Let's uh, collect my money. Thank you, Ali. And let's see. Level up. Okay, got some more parts. Discard that. 
in this one. Hey, Lola. As thou art... Okay, this is a different person. It's... Oh, Guildmaster. Okay, guys. I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what I thought in the comments below. And if there's a custom PC that you want me to build, let me know the parts list, and I guess I can build it. All right, guys. Have a great day, and see you next time. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already.